What is going on everybody? This is Chris with Patch Boy Dar, Patches for the Culture. And today, we got a new machine. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, this thing is beefy. This is the Juki TL18QVP. I'm super excited for this machine, you guys. You have no idea. I've always wanted a Juki machine ever since I was in college. I used to work on the industrial straight stitch machines. I used to work for the costume department back in college. Yes, it is used, but it's still pretty much brand new, still in the box. Got it for a pretty good deal. Buying one of these brand new online is around 1600 bucks, but I got this guy for just 800 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. I plan on doing a lot of things with this machine, you guys, so stay tuned for those future videos. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box up. Got my shizzles. Shizzles right there. Got to cut these open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flapping it open. So the first thing I get in the box is the dust cover. So it's like this nice little vinyl material. This off to the side real quick. We got the foot pedal. This is a dual purpose foot pedal. So of course when you hit the top foot pedal uh, it will just do the stitching. But if you hit, if you press down on the back of the foot pedal it will cut the thread which is a pretty cool feature on the sewing machine. Alright, alright. Coming back to the box. So next up what I'm going to go ahead and do is pull out this large rectangular box right here. Alright, alright, so we got this box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. But right off the bat, we got our Juki manual. I want to make sure I'm taking proper care and maintenance of the machine. So make sure you go through this manual. What else we got? So we got this bin. It got a bunch of different uh, bobbins. It got a walking foot. Uh, it got some other different type of foots in there. Nice. Power cord, of course. You got to have the power cord. Uh, you got this bag here. It got a flathead screwdriver. It looks like a little container for oil. Uh, and it got the little rubber bumper that goes onto the bottom of the foot pedal. So if you don't want that, so that if you don't want to press the back of that foot pedal and cut the thread on accident, you can always insert that little black rubber piece. Lastly, in the box, we got. The actual the extension tray, Ooh, pretty loud. We got the extension tray, but we also got a knee lever, if you guys can see that there. So if you constantly don't want to have to be manually lifting up the pressure foot with your hand, you can attach this to the machine and just use your knee. Here's the table. It got some ruler measurements on it. Got some rubber bumpers on there so it doesn't scratch up the table surfaces. All right, cool, cool. I'm going to put this stuff back into the box and then we're going to go ahead and get the actual machine out. And now the main thing to do is to get the machine out of this box to see if I got the muscle to do so. I'm going to just grab it by the handle and pull up on it and set it down. Oh yeah! That thing got some weight to it for sure. Ah yes! Woo look at that thing! Oh yes, look at this. Ain't this, it's so purty y'all, it's so purty. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick moment to gaze at this beauty. Let's go ahead and get our power cord and let's get this thing plugged in. All right, so we are plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn the machine on. Ooh, nice. LED light came on. This is a nice looking machine, y'all. This is a nice looking machine. Ah, I see. I see. 
So I'm gonna get this machine threaded up and start getting my sewing on, y'all. I gotta get I gotta get them stitches going. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't get too into depth with this as I wanna take some time to play around with the machines. I don't wanna show you guys my mistakes and mishaps. Without further ado, I'm gonna get on out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and keep on stitching. This has been Chris with Patch Boy Dar. Patches for the culture.